Hello, everybody. We are at the top of the hour. My name is Sabelle Rasim. I will be your facilitator for this evening's college fair. We are at the Capital Area School Development Association's virtual college fair powered by StriveScan. So a couple things before we get started, because we have some amazing institutions here to tell you a little bit about themselves. So we really want to get the fun started. And as you all know, time flies when you're having fun. So we want to make sure we make the best out of the next 45 minutes. So a couple things, okay? A couple housekeeping items before we get going here. First and foremost, we absolutely encourage you asking questions. This is your time to do so. So please ask questions. But you might be wondering, well, how do I ask those questions? Awesome question. Go ahead and click that Q&A button down at the bottom of your Zoom toolbar. That Q&A button is where you'll type in your questions to the presenters at any time. I stress at any time because guess what? We won't have time at the end to answer your questions uh, live in a Q&A type of format. So you please want to make sure that you are getting those questions in at any point in time throughout the entire virtual college fair. Also, please do me a favor. And if you could, while you're asking the question, address the institution that the question is for so we all know who the question goes to. With that said, you're muted and your video is turned off. The panelists cannot see or hear you. So this is a webinar style type of virtual college fair. So asking those questions in that Q&A is super important. Also fun fact, although your chat is disabled on your end, it is super important that if you see notification pop up in your chat, go ahead and check out the chat because our presenters could be putting in their contact information or important links and other things that they want you to check out. Also sign up for more sessions there. This is many. This is one of many, many college presentations offered for this evening, as well as tomorrow. We have another virtual college fair. Uh, so sign up for any of the sessions for the next time slot or for tomorrow as well. Last but certainly not least, a recording will be available of the session. So if you missed out on some of the fun tonight, maybe your friend missed out, mom wants to check it out. Whoever, you can definitely relive the fun with the recording and all sessions are being recorded and can be found and available at strivescan.com backslash C-A-S-D-A-N-Y. So with that said, we're going to get started. We're going to kick it off with our first in institution, Florida Southern College. Florida Southern College. I'm not sure if we can see or hear you just yet. So sorry, I lost connection there. I apologize. Let me just share my screen and I will get started. That's okay, no worries. Seconds. Okay, so sorry about that. So good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. My name is Sherry Brown uh, and I present to you Florida Southern College. So we are a liberal arts core. We were founded in 1883, very small college. We have about 3,500 students on our campus, uh, which really paves the way for engaged learning. Uh, we definitely um, uh, have you know, something for everyone. We have over 70 programs of study for you to choose from, uh, 16 pre-professional tracks, pre-law, pre-med, to name a couple of those. Uh, we have our School of Business, which is AACSB accredited. Only about 5% of the business schools in the world hold that accreditation, so we're very happy to be part of that. Uh, School of Nursing, Arts, Theater, Physical Therapy, Education, you name it, uh, we've got it. So our classroom sizes, again, are pretty small. We have about 18 uh, to 20 students per class. Um, and there's always just one professor teaching you. There's never a TA or, or you know, grad student uh, professor is always in charge of the classroom. Um, we have a lot of engaged learning to go by. We have the Tiny Earth Network that we're involved in. This is a research study started by Yale University that our bio students get to take part of. So just a lot of undergraduate research going on 
um, in every facet. I can certainly uh, vouch for this. I'm part of our MBA program, currently enrolled, and I can certainly vouch for the fact that you're just not another number here and there's a lot of experimental learning um, that does go on. We do have an honors school for those of you who do want that extra challenge. And there's a few perks to that as well, like early registration for housing and early registration for classes. So we have a few guarantees I'd like to break down for you. Uh, we guarantee you'll study abroad, we guarantee an internship, and we guarantee that you will graduate in four years. So here's how we do this. Uh, we guarantee travel abroad. Um, it's a seven to 10 day trip. It's called your junior journey. And the way we guarantee it is the cost of these trips are actually embedded in your tuition. So it's very little money out of pocket. Um, and these are again, seven to 10 day trips that are taken during your spring break or your fall break. Um, so these are definitely life-changing um, events for you. We also guarantee you will um, have an internship. Uh, you're gonna gain an internship. You're gonna gain that experience. Um, no matter what your major is, this is something we guarantee. And then our third guarantee is graduating on time. And this is via the resources we give you. Um, we make sure you're set up with an academic counselor and we're very transfer credit friendly as well. So if you have ACE classes, IB, uh, you know, any of those AP classes you're working on, those are going to transfer in and go towards your gen eds or your electives. We guarantee housing all four years. Uh, and we also have a lot of clubs and organizations that you can choose from over a hundred to be exact. Um, so there is something for everyone. We're not just a suitcase campus, so we don't clear out on the weekends. There's always something going on. Um, so a very active camp campus uh, life outside of the classroom. Uh, we've got about 20 varsity sports. We're a division two. We've got some great club sports as well that include ice hockey, water ski, um, we have a great intramural program as well. So again, something for everyone um, to take part of. As far as the application process goes, we do take the Common App, we take the Coalition App, and we also, of course, take our own four to seven college app. We are test optional. The numbers on the bottom of your screen are not uh, minimum required numbers to get to gain acceptance. This is an average class profile. So what we'll need from you is uh, your official high school transcripts, um, along with a letter of recommendation, which is actually, we're making that um, optional as well, because we know it's hard to get materials right now. Um, and also a personal essay is what we need. Uh, we have no application fee, so it is free to apply. And for juniors, that application does open in the month of May, and we have a rolling application process. As far as scholarships go, um, we've got a handful of merit scholarships that go anywhere from 7,000 a year to 21,000 a year. No application needed. They're decided upon during your process. Um, we do have some scholarships that do require an application. If you meet the criteria, we will certainly let you know. So no worries on getting left out of that. Um, and we have special talent awards too for students with artistic abilities, athletic abilities, um, musical abilities. And we also have ROTC. Um, so that is it, and uh, there is all my information, which I will put in the chat for you in case you want to reach out or in case you have any questions. Awesome. Thank you so much. If you have any questions for Florida Southern College, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have Full Sail University. Hi, everyone. Good evening, and I'm excited to talk to you about Full Sail University tonight. My name is Emily Miller. Uh, let me go ahead and just get this pulled up. All right. So if you have not ever heard of Full Sail before, we are an entertainment, media, art, and technology university in Winter Park, Florida. So we're very close to Orlando. Um, we're about 30 minutes away from the theme parks and uh, you know Disney Universal, things like that. Um, and also about two hours from any of the beaches. So we're in a very nice area. Full Sail is a proud supporter of creativity. That's really who we are at a base level is we are creatives. We're people that are interested in creating music, films, um, animations, uh, anything you can really think of in the entertainment industry. So these are the areas of study that we have. Um, over at Full Sail, we actually offer 54 bachelor's degrees right now between our on-campus and our online programs. 
they fall into these different categories. So uh, maybe you're somebody that's really interested in creating video games or on the other side of technology, maybe you're interested in virtual reality, augmented reality, um, fabrication type of technology. We also have journalism programs, creative writing, um, entrepreneurship in our business area. We even have a sportscasting program in our sports halo. So it really spans the whole uh, you know, gamut of the entertainment industry. So if you see one of these areas that you're interested in, just let me know and I can give you more details. But each of our degree programs is a little bit unique from what you may you know, maybe expecting. So the first thing is that each of our programs are accelerated. You would expect to go into college and have about four years until you can complete your bachelor's degree. At Full Sail, if you are an on-campus student, it only takes about 20 months from start to finish. So just about two years. Our online students take just about 29 months to complete their programs, but either way, again, right around two years. And that is really advantageous for our students because they're going out into these competitive industries, having that two extra years to be able to work their way up and you know, start at a base level, get to a higher level job and also pay back their student loans is really, really beneficial for these graduates. Another thing here is that we have a rolling admissions. So you can apply anytime, but you can also start anytime. We actually start a new class of students every single month throughout the year. So instead of having to wait for the next semester to start, if you decide you're ready to come to the wholesale, all you have to do is wait for the next month to roll around. The next thing here is that we have a really cool initiative for our graduates at wholesale, where they, we invite them to come back and retake classes in their field for free for the rest of their life. So this is really important as technology changes, uh, you know, the different equipment that you're using is going to change every couple of years, whether that is the cameras used for filming or even a video game console. So you can come back, relearn that technology and stay relevant in your field. And again, you can do that for free coming back to full sale. And then the last thing here, uh, we have a really big focus on career development. We wanna make sure that you not only can do your future job, but that you can also get a future job so throughout your, uh, your, the life of your program at Full Sail, you will complete seven career module courses. These are things like resume writing, interview skills, networking, to make sure that you are ready to go whenever the time comes to apply for jobs. And you'll also create a portfolio that you can then have to give employers. It's a collection of your best work and um, you'll be able to have that by the time you graduate. And our grads have gone on to do some pretty cool things throughout the years. Um, in the background here, you can see a few projects that they've been featured on. Uh, within the past year, though, our graduates have won some pretty cool awards. Back last spring, we had 140, roughly, of our graduates that were Oscar nominated. This year, we had 57 of our graduates that were Grammy nominated. And back in December, we had 271 of our grads that were Game Award nominated. So they've worked on some of your favorite projects. Um, for game awards, they worked on The Last of Us 2, which was game of the year. So that's one that I think is very cool. Um, but besides this, um, here are some companies that our grads have gone on to work for. They may not have worked on an award-winning movie or a game, but they have had an impact in the industry. So we see some have worked for Disney, Pixar, HBO. Um, some of our sports grads have worked for things like the Miami Dolphins or the Golf Channel. So it really does span the whole area of the entertainment industry. And these are just a few examples out of many. As far as campus life goes, we are starting to open up our campus again safely. But in the past, all of these pictures, of course, are from pre-COVID times. Um, we had some very exciting features of campus. Um, one of my favorites and the most important is that we have small class sizes. Right now we have about 22,000 students at our school, either on campus or online, but our classes are broken down into small chunks. Um, if you were in a lecture course, that could be up to 120 students for one instructor. But in our smaller hands-on learning classes, that would be more like six students to an instructor, 12 students to an instructor, or 24 students to an instructor. So it really does feel small. We also have job opportunities on campus. If you qualify for FAFSA, you could always do a federal work-study position. And we have quite a few of those on our campus. And some of our programs also allow for internship opportunities. We do something called the Hall of Fame at Full Sail, which I'll elaborate more on in a little bit, but this is a celebration each year. It's kind of like a homecoming where we sit down our campus and honor our grads that have been very successful in their fields. And then the last thing here is clubs and organizations. We do have a lot of these on our campus. 
and I'm running out of time, so I'm going to skip to the next thing. So if this is a school that seems like it would be a good fit for you, the first thing to do to get started would be to talk to our admissions team and do an admissions interview. Also check out our scholarships. Right now we have two full tuition scholarships for our tech degrees, women in technology and emerging technology. So if you're interested in a tech program, let me know. I can provide more info on that. And for any other information related to Full Sail, you can scan the QR code or email me. I'll drop it in the chat. My email is elmiller at fullsail.com. So thank you all for being here tonight. And um, Sabelle, thank you so much for hosting us. And I hope you all have a great evening. Awesome. Thank you so much. If you have any questions for Full Sail University, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have Ringling College of Art and Design. Hi everyone, my name is Cassidy Garbutt and I'm a senior admissions counselor at Wrigley College of Art and Design. Tonight I'm going to speak with you about our amazing programs, a little bit about career services, and also about our admissions process. So Ringling College of Art and Design is a fully accredited nationally and regionally art and design school. That means we are part of the ACAD accrediting body and so we're in good company with RISD, CalArts, School of the Art Institute of Chicago. We are located in beautiful Sarasota, Florida, and we have 13 different art and design majors. 11 of those majors are Bachelor of Fine Arts programs, BFA programs, and two of them are Bachelor of Arts programs. So we'll get started talking whoops, a little bit about the majors here. Um, the first major I want to speak with you about is business of art and design. And the reason we're spending so much time talking about the majors on this presentation is because Ringling students apply specifically to their major of interest and they're admitted in their major of interest. So you start right away in your major on the first day of school, and that gives you four years of concentrated study in your field of interest. So the first major we have here, business of art and design, we call it BOAD. It's for someone who's interested in business and also art and design. So this is a BA program. The next program, computer animation, that is our most competitive major. And so when we talk a little bit later on about admissions, we'll talk about one admissions process for computer animation and another admissions process for all of the other majors. But CA is a very strong major at Ringling. We're the number one animation school in the United States. And we have 15 student academy awards. So this is a very strong program with a huge international pull. The next major is creative writing. For those of you who are interested in writing, in screenwriting, in literature and media studies, creative writing offers an awesome major for you. This is also another BA, so Bachelor of Arts program. Entertainment design, this is a really fun major. This major was born out of our interior design program, and it's for students who are interested in designing for theme parks, museums, retail spaces, restaurants, and uh, more, even cruise ships, all sorts of interesting things, but it's about building the spaces and designing the physical spaces. Film. So we are a top 16 film school in the country, and we're really proud of our film program. We have an amazing sound stage that's actually industry quality. And artists like Kevin Smith, Bo Bridges, Heather Graham, they come to Ringling in the summer. They use our facilities to shoot work, to film, and our students have the opportunity to intern or work on those projects. So our film students are very, very hands-on in the projects. It's not a film studies program, it's really a film practice program. The next program is fine arts. We have an amazing fine arts program. We offer studio spaces to our students, even at the undergraduate level. And that's really important for artists to have enough space, a dedicated area to make their work. We take trips to Art Basel in Miami. We have visiting artist critiques and different demonstrations. There are residency opportunities and study abroad opportunities when it's safe to do so. We also have a visual arts center that was made specifically for printmaking, glass blowing, photography, sculpture. Game art, we're the number three game art program in the world. This is a very strong program and it's for anyone who's interested in gaming. 
Graphic design. Graphic design is really cool. We have a design center at Ringling where graphic design students can actually work at. And so they leave with a portfolio of work. Illustration. Illustration is our most popular major. Students come from all over the world for all of our majors. But again, illustration is a big draw. We teach visual development, storytelling, character development in this project, in this program. Motion design is about animating images. Um, and you can always go to our website, wriggling.edu, to learn more information about these majors. But motion is about animating images. Photography, I'm sure you're familiar with photography. We teach commercial photography. Um, as well as fine art photography. Virtual reality development. This is an interesting program. It's um, got a lot of different applications in automotion, in medicine, but we're the first BFA in VR in the country. Visual studies is our last program. That's for a student who's more self-directed. But the reason I wanna to talk to you about all of those different majors is because like I said, you're admitted specifically to your major and your area of interest. Another thing I wanna point out, and I know we're running out of time here, but is our career services department. So Ringling College of Art and Design is dedicated to dispelling the myth of the starving artist. So you see this in our curriculum, you see this with our faculty, you see this in career services, but we're really, really geared towards preparing students for success in careers. And here on the screen, I have an image of different logos of companies that have come to campus specifically to recruit our students. So I'll put my name and contact information in the chat and I welcome any questions later on. Thank you so much. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions for Ringling College of Art and Design, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have University of South Florida. Hi guys, let me just share my screen quickly. Okay, great. So hi, my name is Melissa Vivellis. I am the Regional Admissions Recruiter Advisor for the University of South Florida for New York. I am actually regionally based on Long Island. Um, so let's get things started. First things first, we are located within the greater Tampa Bay region of Florida. Um, we have a total undergraduate enrollment across all three of our campuses, uh, which I will talk about in a minute, um, of just under 39,000. Um, we also have a student to faculty ratio and average class size of 21 to 1 in 33 students. Um, about 42% of our USS students identify as being from a diverse background. And we do have students who hail from all 50 states as well as over 140 countries in the world in terms of our out-of-state population population, we are about 10%. Um, as I mentioned, we do have three different campuses. So um, our first campus is our Tampa campus that probably is our most well known campus. And it is also our largest campus. Um, it's located in Tampa, Florida, and we have about 31,000 undergraduate students at our Tampa campus. Our St. Petersburg campus that is our mid sized campus located in St. Petersburg, Florida, right on the water, really gorgeous location. Um, and we have about 4,000 undergraduate students there. Then we have our Sarasota Manatee campus that is our smallest campus at about 1,700 undergraduate students, and we're located in Sarasota, Florida. So to give you basically a brief overview of the University of South Florida, I'm going to start with our student life. So we do have over 700 different student organizations system wide. This ranges from honor societies, grief like organizations, personal interest organizations and academic interest organizations. We also over offer over a thousand on campus events each year. Um, you basically can find something different to do every single night of the week if you would like. We are also NCAA Division One in terms of our athletics go Bulls. We have 17 different men's and women's sports for you to partake in. If you don't want to partake and you would rather watch, all of our sporting events are actually free for students to attend. That does include men's basketball and men's football. We encourage all of our students to get and stay active. So all of our campus rec is free for students to partake in. And we do have about 40 different club sports as well as 15 different intramural sports for you to participate in as well. And we do also offer the first on-campus Publix. Publix is a grocery store chain. It's super convenient for you to have that on-campus Publix. We also have over 
200 different majors and concentrations at USF. Um, they are within our College of the Arts, College of the Arts and Sciences, College of Behavioral and Community Sciences, College of Business, College of Education, College of Engineering, College of Nursing, and College of Public Health. As I said, there's over 200. I don't have enough time to talk about all of them, so please feel free to put any questions in the chat. We do also offer our Honors College, our Judy Genshef Honors College. They like to consider themselves a small liberal arts college on our large research university setting. They cap all of their class sizes at about 25 students, and you are required to do either a thesis or a capstone project, and there is a separate application process for that as well. As I mentioned, we are a large research university. We're in fact a tier one research university. We actually encourage all of our students to participate in research no matter what their major is. We do also offer study abroad. We have study abroad to over 25 different countries. A nice thing of, as an out-of-state student, um, for the duration of time you were in the study abroad program for a week to a full year, you were actually only charged the Florida in-state rate for tuition. And we do also get all of our students some really um, nice access to our local, national, and global internships as well at USF. So for campus housing, two of our three campuses offer on-campus housing. First is our Tampa campus. We have three different styles of housing. As you can see, freshmen are not limited to one housing style. So we offer traditional style, suite style, and apartment style. Now at St. Pete, they only have one style of housing. That is our suite style. No matter where you end up, all of our campus housing is honestly really fairly uh, modern and really nice for you to live in. Now I'm going to switch some gears and talk about our freshman admissions information. So at USF, we only need four things for our application process. First, we need our application. You can uh, fill out our application or we are also members of Coalition or the Common App. Um, we need a $30 application fee or any of the fee waivers that are listed on here. Um, we also will need your official high school transcript it needs to come directly from your school counselor. They can also load it onto your Coalition or Common App or if they can email us if they would like. Last thing, we do need official standard test scores. We did not go test optional this year, so we're assuming we're not going to go test optional next year. Um, so we do need official standardized test scores sent to us directly either from ACT or SAT. And as you can see on the right hand slide, um, that is our admitted freshman profile. That is not the minimums that you need to get in. That is just our middle 50% of our admitted freshman profile for fall 2020 and summer 2020. Now for our evaluation process, we do some, uh, something a little bit different at USF. We do recalculate your GPA. So your GPA is recalculated based solely on your academic core courses, not including your senior year grades. And we do offer you a more uh, an additional weight for completing a more challenging curriculum. So if you take any honors pre-AP or pre-IB course, you'll get an extra half point. And if you take any AP, IB, ACE, or dual enrollment courses, you'll get an extra full point. And in terms of test scores, we do super score. So please make sure you are sending us exam um, scores from all the test dates that you complete. So for our dates and deadlines, honestly, this is my personal favorite slide. Um, first deadline I always like to highlight is our November 1st priority application completion deadline. What application completion me means is we need all four things in our office by this date. We are a rolling admissions institution. So what that means is the longer it goes on, the more difficult it is to get into USF. So if you apply by November 1st, that will offer you your best opportunity of getting in. And January 15th is our admission scholarship completion deadline. Make sure you are paying attention to that as well. Now for our admission scholarships, we offer three different ones, our presidential, our directors, and our scholars. They are merit-based. You don't need to submit a separate application. You just need to meet the qualifications on here. And for our cost of attendance, we are at just under 35000 total for our non-Florida residents. We are a very affordable institution. That is basically my presentation. If you have any additional questions, I will put my information in the chat. And if you would like, we are hosting on-campus visits at this point. So please feel free to sign up on our website. Thanks, guys. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions for University of South Florida, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have Weber International University. Weber International University. Okay, hold on. It's supposed to be um, 
sharing and okay now yeah, there we go good to go awesome okay yeah sorry about that it was I had a little technical difficulty that's okay no worries <laughs> Hi, my name is Carrie Walker, and I am a regional admissions counselor here at Weber International University in Babson Park, Florida. Okay. Hold on. Why isn't this? Okay. A little bit about Weber. We were established in 1927, and we are on the shores of Cricket Lake. We are named after Roger Babson granddaughter Camilla Grace Weber and we are the town we are named after was also founded by him until the early 70s we were primarily an all women's business college and we have students from 29 states and 31 countries we are located in central Florida as you can see from the map we are pretty much dead center of the state we are 54 miles from Orlando 68 miles from Tampa so even though we're a little rural, you still have the, you can take a day trip and get anywhere you want. We're not even two and a half miles from South Florida, about two and a half, three hours from St. Augustine, depending on traffic on I-4. There's a lot of stuff to do. It is a rural area, but you do have that option where you're pretty much just gonna go to school and focus on your studies and do sports as well as we do plan trips and stuff. Pre-COVID we had more going on, but now not so much. We just do day trips. These are shots around our campus. As you can see, there is a lake view regardless of where you are on campus. That is one of the things that makes our campus great. We also have tennis courts and a swimming pool that you can use as well as a beach volleyball court. This is our newest addition. It is our football, lacrosse, and soccer field. I'm pretty proud of it. This thing is not working. There. Campus life at Weber, we have recently redone our cafeteria and changed it to where it is cafeteria stash student union now. We have Sodexo, it's a catering company that does all our food for us. We also have changed um, our old student union where our book store is located to the Learning Commons. And that's pretty much an academic skills success center for students. We have um, a facilitator of that area with a computer lab and we have tutoring that's available uh, five days a week up until eight o'clock every day. We also, our newest addition is a Starbucks at the Learning Commons that serves coffee as well as hot food items, sandwiches, grab and go, stuff like that. It's a very popular place on campus. And we have, that is the only Starbucks within like 30 minutes of our school. Activities at Weber, we have different clubs that you can join. We have a fishing club and eSports is the newest addition to our clubs as well as what the scholarships are available with the fishing club and the eSports. And we do have an eSports facility off campus about three miles from here that will be opening soon. Athletics, we have 24 collegiate sports here. We are NAIA, part of the Sun Conference, and due to the fact that we are NAIA, you are eligible for athletic scholarships as well as merit awards that you can stack with that. We have all the typical sports, um, as you can see. Academics, we have a 21 student to one professor class ratio. We have 16 undergraduate majors, five MBA majors, and we have four new health and services majors. We have health services administration, a sports performance, health and fitness, a pre-nursing program, and an occupational therapy assisting program. We are the only university in the state of Florida to offer occupational therapy assisting as a four-year degree. And we are in the process of adding more and majors as the days go on. 
to apply, there is no application fee. We are on Common App. You can go to www.weber.edu and apply for free. We are testing optional as well. And we will accept unofficial transcripts to get you going. We do a conditional acceptance and we are rolling admissions. We will accept your application at any time on up until classes start. We don't have a decision day. So as soon as we get all your information and we are able to review it, we will let you know your determination if you are accepted. So we can get you moving with the financial aid process. Make sure you file your FAFSA. That's another important thing. We do accept FAFSA, we accept Bright Futures, and we accept Florida prepaid. You can contact us. We have a Facebook page, Instagram, and a Twitter. And that is it. I will put my contact information in the chat box and thank you for your time. Awesome, thank you so much. If you have any questions for Weber International University, please put it down in the Q&A at the bottom. Next up, we have the University of Tampa. Sorry about that. I had my mute on. Um, I'm Mark Harnischfeger, uh, Regional Admissions Counselor for the University of Tampa, um, regionally based in Rochester, New York. Um, thanks for ta uh, taking the time to learn more about us tonight. Basics at UT. We are a medium-sized private residential university. Um, in uh, total, total students, this year we're 9,600, of which about 8,500 are undergraduates. Our incoming class was a little over 2,100. Average GPA for incoming students this year was 3.45, so we're talking mid to high Bs. But keep in mind that's simply an average. We admit above, we admit below, never get intimidated by any numbers that you hear. We are located on the doorstep of downtown Tampa, Florida. You can see our proximity there. What you can't see there is that we're separated from the city by the Hillsborough River. So five minute walk across the bridge, the West Kennedy Bridge, you're in downtown Tampa, you know, with just a wealth of opportunities, uh, academically, personally, professionally. Uh, however, you walk uh, back across the bridge, it's your own college campus. Com completely in one place, self-contained self campus, 110 acres, maybe a 10, 15 minute walk from one end to the other. Um, I mean, uh, you look up, you know darn well where you are, there's Tampa, doesn't feel like that. It's a college campus with a college campus feel. Having trouble with the slide, sorry. So as I mentioned, being on the doorstep of uh, downtown Tampa, is just a wealth of opportunities for you. Um, and you can see just uh, a couple of them here. And a few more. And a few more. Our students very much enjoy being part of a metropolitan area. We're a metropolitan college, not a city college. City college would imply you come right out of your dorms right onto Main Street. That's not the case at UT. It's a self-contained class, uh, self-contained uh, campus. And uh, um, it's kind of like a, an island within the metropolitan area. In terms of academics, our average class size is 22. Only 4% of our classes this year had 40 or more students, usually capped around 45. Um, this is not one of those universities with lectures and lecture halls with 100, 200, 300 people. Even your intro freshman classes are going to be small. If you're looking at private education, and you certainly are with UT, uh, you know that the hallmark of that really is your relationship with your professors and with your university. And we're going to provide that on a very personal 
personalized, individualized basis right from the start. You can see it's 90% of our faculty have their end degree in their field. And most importantly, we don't hire graduate assistants to teach. We don't hire teaching assistants. You're going to have a full professor in every course you ever take at UT. We offer 210 different degree programs. We're particularly well known for our business programs, including nationally ranked graduate programs. And we're particularly well noted as well for our natural sciences, biology, chemistry, biochem. But with 210 different degree programs, um, you know, as I'm sure you know, very few journeys are a straight line. And if you uh, tweak your major along the way or decide to change your major, chances are UT will have it we'll have you covered. We are all about experiential learning at UT. Learn by doing hands-on. Uh, we began with, with uh, in-person classes last August. We finished with in-person classes at Thanksgiving. We're doing the same this semester. It's all about hands-on experience. That's the kind of education you can expect at UT. And speaking of uh, hands-on, the most important question I think a student can ask of all the questions you're going to ask this year is what kind of a resume can I build coming to your school? And, you know, upon graduation, nobody's going to be concerned with that uh, um, B minus you got in a history class your junior year. They're going to want to know what you did and where you did it. And we're going to get you out early and often at UT. You're going to be resume building the entire time you're with us. There's a real emphasis on health, nutrition, and fitness at UT. Uh, it's our fitness facility that opened up four years ago. Um, I can't give you a future view. We're actually doubling the size of this building with a brand new aquatic center and uh, brand new beach volleyball courts and basketball courts that will be ready uh, in one year, the spring of 2022. We are Division II athletically, we can, uh, so we offer athletic scholarships. Uh, I would invite you to visit our website, ut.edu, um, and you'll see most of our uh, on-campus housing has uh, virtual student-led tours, so you can see what they look like on the inside. Our total cost this year uh, was 42.4. 97% of our students received financial aid. The average aid package this year was a little over 11,000. You can figure out where you stand by going to the net price calculator on our website. Merit scholarships are determined at the time of admission, uh, up to uh, uh, 18,000 a year for freshmen, 9,000 for uh, transfer students, 11,000 for international students. We are an international university with over 1,000 1,000 uh, international students again this year. Um, we're going to be looking at your high school transcript. An essay is required. Recommendation is certainly a great way to highlight your application. And SAT and ACT scores are, um, uh, we're, test, we're totally 100% test optional. You can see our hey, admission documents there, and I will put my chat info or my contact information in the uh, chat feature. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. If you have any questions for University of Tampa, uh, please grab Mark's information super quickly in the chat as we are out of time. So we won't uh, be having any more time, unfortunately, for uh, questions at this point. Uh, with that said, I want to thank you all so much for attending. Uh, my presenters, you're more than welcome to join me and turn your videos on uh, and join me in thanking everybody for being here. But presenters, thank you all so, so much for being here. Uh, super important that you are here to talk about your amazing institutions and my attendees. Thank you for joining us. I, I definitely learned a thing or two, and I, I hope you did too. A um, couple things before you all head out. After you close this window, a very quick four question survey will appear. Go ahead and give us some feedback. Again, sign up for more sessions. We're going to have more sessions in the next time slot as well as tomorrow. And then also a recording will be available at strivescan.com backslash C A. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I am losing my breath. C A S D A N Y. So please make sure that if you missed out on all the fun, um, you go ahead and check out that recording and then uh, join us again soon. With that said, you all, thank you again so, so much. And I hope you have a great night. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.